Hey guys, it's Christy Lani here and today I have the daily devotional for July 29th. I decided to just go ahead and start with the date that it is. So I started that yesterday. So today is going to be Faith That Doubts. Peter was courageous enough to get out of the boat and walk on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw how big the waves were, he got scared and started to sink. Fortunately, Jesus was there to grab hold of his hand and save him. Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and cross to the other side of the lake while he sent the people home. After sending them home, he went up to into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy wa waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came towards them, walking on the water. When the disciples saw him walking, sorry about that. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. In their fear, they cried out, It's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage, I am here. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it is really you, tell me to come to you, walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? When they, when they climbed back into the boat, the wind stopped. Then the disciples worshipped him. You really are the Son of God, they said. They exclaimed. Matthew 12, 22 and 23. This is an awesome reading today. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. What I got from it is just have the faith. Have faith. Do not, you know, do not not have it. This is a good one for tonight. I hope this um, helps someone, you know, sometimes this stuff makes me feel better just to read it and it makes me understand more of the Bible. Sometimes when I'm reading the Bible, it doesn't make no sense to me. But if they break it down and it, it starts to make more sense to me. So I hope this reached someone and helped you as well as it how it helped me. You guys have a wonderful night. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.